There's several different definitions of flashover. The one that makes the most sense to me, it's the stage in fire development in which the contents and the gases reach their ignition temperatures and flames break out almost all at once over all the surfaces. There are a few different types of flashovers that exist. The NFPA now calls all the different types of flashover rapid fire progress. Those different types, the most common is a hot rich flashover. That's the, the most common that firefighters run into on the fire ground. The cause of a flashover or a hot rich flashover is what I'm referring to is a term called thermal radiation feedback. Everything in nature tries to find a balance. If I grab a can of Coke, that Coke's gonna warm up and my hand in turn is gonna cool off. Um, same thing's happening inside of a structure. The seed of the fire is growing, the energy and heat that's being created is being absorbed into the material of that room. It's trying to find that thermal balance. Once it can't find that balance or that balance is exceeded, the material starts to break down, starts to form a gas called carbon monoxide and radiate that heat back to the center of the room. That process is called pyrolysis. Once it reaches the center of the room, it's gonna to wanna to try to find a way to go back to the walls, but like a sponge, it can only absorb so much heat so then that heat then begins to build and build and build until it reaches its ignition temperature and then it ignites into fire and you get flames breaking out not only through the gas but every single surface in that room. It's all about heat and energy. You have to have heat to break down a solid to a gas and that's what produces that very volatile gas and that's what's killing and hurting us this day. Another type of rapid fire progress or RFP is backdraft. That's uh, probably one of the most uncommon types that we encounter on a fire ground. I've only witnessed one in my 33 years of service. And what that is, it's a fire that's generated so much heat and used up all the oxygen in the room that it just sits and smolders and smolders. The heat does not go away, the air is gone, but that superheated gas has been confined and it's just perking and perking, waiting for us to either open a door or someone to open a door or let fresh air in. It mixes with all the gas that is in there. The heat is already there, and when it ignites, it ignites with an explosive force. The other would be a delayed flashover. A delayed flashover is also very dangerous for firefighters. Picture a house with a fire that began in a rear bedroom. The smoke and energy has traveled throughout the home, filling it with superheated gases. As firefighters enter the home, a hot, rich flashover occurs in the rear bedroom. The sudden increase in temperature is enough to ignite the gases throughout the entire home. Firefighters could be faced with gases igniting all around them, yet the seat of the fire is in another part of the structure. Rollover is what we kind of call a lean flashover, and that is uh, the gas is just mixing with the oxygen at the level right above the firefighters' heads. In other words, you might have flame all the way up to the ceiling level, but what you're seeing are just the sporadic snakes or wisps of flame that are occurring in the smoke. If you're witness rollover, you have seconds before flashover will occur. <laughs>